Hi, I'm Tripta Gulari, Product Strategy Director in Cisco's Engineering Sustainability Office. For Gartner, sustainable technology is a top 10 strategic technology trend for 2024. Sustainability has moved beyond risk and compliance and has become a catalyst for driving business outcomes, innovation, and creating a competitive edge. Cisco continues to embed sustainability as a foundation for innovation and AI-ready infrastructure to help our customers with their digital transformation journeys. According to International Energy Agency, data centers, including crypto and AI, made up around 2% of global electricity demand in 2022, using 460 terawatt hours. IT electricity demand shows no signs of slowing down and is estimated to grow by 50% from 2020 to 2030. The way we build, deploy, and operate our data centers must change. Typically, cooling systems consume 40% of energy in a data center infrastructure. Cisco is leaning in with innovation to transform the data center infrastructure, including our UCSX servers, and provide more efficient cooling systems with improved airflow management and precision cooling. Hi, I'm Rakesh Bhatia, Lead Principal Hardware Engineer at Cisco. Today, I'm going to introduce a key innovation in our groundbreaking UCSX chassis. Our UCSX system is based around an innovative model approach, not just in computer networking components, but even in the chassis and support components. Some of the differentiating hardware features are 54 volt power distribution, and usage of efficient counter-rotating fans custom engineered to reduce power. The chassis also features a larger blade footprint, straight-through airflow architecture, and a mid-plane-less design. We provide focus cooling where it is needed by using horizontal and vertical cooling zones. The chassis also includes advanced proportional integral derivative fan control algorithms. Older algorithms only react to temperatures. Cisco's new precursor proportional integral derivative controller additionally monitors power and reacts to power as a leading indicator of upcoming temperature changes. The power term KUDUDT is the rate of change in internal energy, a unique enhancement by Cisco to a standard PID controller. In addition, the gain coefficients are nonlinear and not a fixed constant value. Our low latency algorithm minimizes fan power consumption by allowing a precise and targeted cooling approach. The temperature overshoots and undershoots are minimized while keeping the fan speeds as low as possible. The typical use case has seen a 5% reduction in total system power. Cisco's UCSX chassis isn't just hardware. It's a commitment to innovation. Hi, I'm Anna Fessler Hoffman, a Cisco sustainability specialist. As we just heard from Rakesh and Tripta, Cisco is continuously innovating to reduce product power use. We're addressing climate change, setting a goal to reach net zero across our value chain by 2040. We're aiming to minimize operational scope one and two emissions and value chain scope three emissions the latter being our greatest hurdle, as it represents 99% of our total emissions, largely from post-sale energy use. Our focus on reducing device power can help reduce our scope three emissions, which in turn assists our customers in lowering their energy expenses and scope two emissions. This approach has a broad impact, particularly given that data centers consume a significant amount of global electricity. We're transforming the landscape, making every watt count. With Cisco, we're not just dreaming of a more sustainable future, we're building it together.